Hi. Well, um, I have to show you this. <laughs> um, because it's really, well, it's really, it's really something. Okay. So check this out completely. Trying to convince me by lying signs and wonders, you know, that to, that Rome is the true church, right? So I didn't need to check it out completely. But this is a nun who died. And her body seems to be preserved, you know. Um, we know the outward man perish. The flesh will perish. But the inward man is renewed day by day, right? The outward man perishes. Um, yeah. Um, now, Jesus' body preserved because he his body wasn't found and he transfigured he is the resurrection but look what they're doing now this nun looks better than i do because i'm sick i feel like i i'm sick i might look um a little pale right now but look at this nun look at this look at this nun they can't figure it out they're even getting the experts involved you know they do this a lot they even have Santa Claus at the Vatican preserved. She just, she's not aging, you know. Now that can be um, a, a, a nunny, a mummy, a nunny, or, or, or it could be a real miracle. Um, lion signs and wonders of the devil because see how he's, he's the congregation of the dead. He's wearing all black with a little white lie right here. He tells a little white lies. Right. Well, look at this guy. Okay, let's see what he says. Agency article dated May 26, written by John Bucharas and Shannon Mullen. This is a very Catholic article, by the way. <laughs> Only Catholics have articles like this that we read, and for us, it's you know, kind of yeah, that's interesting. The phenomena of saints uh, having having in some saints their bodies being incorrupt um, is see, they're they're uh, the phenomenon, the the lion signs and wonders of saints. Who the Vatican deems as saints once, once you're dead. And then they bless the relics and the bones and all this kind of stuff. Um, but incorruptible. You will put on incorruption even in your flesh body. That's not written. Our, our outward man perishes and our inward man is being renewed. A reality in the Catholic Church. There's whole books written about it. The incorruptibles. I've done videos on saints. See? I knew the incorruptible. See? That's not the Bible. That's that. Well, let's just see. This is what God says about the outward man. Sorry, I'm still sick. I don't feel very good. But, you know. <laughs> um, okay, let's go to yours right here. For this cause we faint not, but talk about the saints, the real saints. The true saints. But though our outward man be preserved, be uncorruptible, can the natural, the corruptible, put on incorruption? Not in this, not, not in this way. Not in this way. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure, sure you know that. I'm hoping you know that. I'm an ex-Catholic, and I see this. So look at, though the outward man perish, yet, God's concerned about this, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. So this outward man, um, the vessel, the flesh, it's not gonna. It's gonna see cor corruption. So this is not. This is not the power of God. This is not the power of God. Um, see, God's not concerned with um so much the elements, um, the physical healings. He's more concerned about the, you know, the inner man. Getting, getting the doctrine of Jesus, getting the mind of Christ put on, and getting the doctrine into your inner man. you got to sow good seed, the word of God, to your spirit so he can start bringing the word to remembrance. And then you start following the lead, like the, the yielding to the spirit. You start yielding to the spirit because you have his mind now, right? You die to yourself. You have a new mind, a new heart. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. Not, not the nun. She has none. No glory. There's none. Right? To be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. So the outward man perishes and the inward man is renewed day by day. Um, let's see. Also on saints whose bodies were found to be incorrupt. Um, so for us as Catholics, we we kind of have a, 
a bit of an understanding of this, but send this article to some of your atheist friends or even some of your Protestant friends. Say, hey, check this out. Isn't this interesting? We should do a little road trip to Missouri and check this out. See what they say. Anyways, if this proves to be true, it's still being investigated, but if it proves to be true, to me, it will be a significant sign for our time, especially in the American church of just... The it's definitely a significant sign. And when you want to prove something, you... Um Study the scriptures to show yourself approved unto God. You got to study the scriptures. And it is a sign for our time, like he said. It's definitely a sign. It's, it's a sign. A lying sign, you see? God's going to send them a strong delusion. They already have one. That they might believe this lie. And they're already believing it. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power. Signs. There's his sign. The adulterous and wicked generation who seeketh after a sign. Right? Shall no sign be given except for the sign of Jonas, right? Um, the gospel. Christ crucified and risen. Died, buried, and was resurrected on the third day. These are lying, lying wonders. Um, so. Hey, Chuck. Just wanted to say hi. I'm getting ready to go mow the lawn, but I hope you're having a good day. Okay. He only knows, he only knows Chuck. He doesn't know all the other brothers and sisters. I don't know all of you either yet. Okay, now look at this. He wanted to say hi to, wanted to, say hi to Chuck. You know, sometimes you got to listen to the wife. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> there you go, Jacob. Um, J-A-C-O-K. J-A-B-O-K. Uh, yeah, he wanted to see. <laughs> um, he, wanted, um, he wanted to see my husband. Just an ordinary guy, you know. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, but we do... But we do want to walk, we do walk in Jesus and we want, we love the Lord and we're trying to, you know, um, walk, walk the right way and, um, take his counsel in our life. Yes. Anyway, um, my Catholic uncle trying to convince me that Rome is the powerhouse of the almighty God. This nun, this nun just won't age. Okay. This nun just won't age. Like what's going on? Well, what do we have here? Let's connect some dots. Okay. Some spots on the leopard Catholic beast. Cat, let's connect some dots. Some spots. These are spots in your feast. Don't feast with these. So they seem to... Now, there's a lot more scriptures I can give, but my videos have been long. And I... You know, when you're sick, it's like everything is pressure through here. In my spirit, I'm okay. But there's, you know, uh, it's flesh stuff. And it, um, yeah, so I'm just going to... Try not to make this very long, okay? Um, they seem to love flesh and bones and death. But look it. This nun just won't age, right? But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. They love death. But they'll say, look it, she's preserved. She's not dead. She's, she's put on the incorruption. That's how they deem you a saint when you're dead. Once you're dead, then the Catholic Church will deem you a saint. Because your flesh body... Suddenly, like a nunny, just like a mummy, just doesn't see, doesn't see corruption. They don't understand spiritually. He's not talking about your flesh. Your flesh should perish and go into the ground. What's going on here? That's not normal. And that's not a miracle of God. Okay. That's the holy family of death, right? All die in Adam and all are made alive and quickened in Christ Jesus. These are the Adam's family. The Adam's family. They all die in Adam. They're still spiritually dead and you need, need to be quickened. So the and death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family. God doesn't call them a holy family. He calls them an evil family. We, you, us, we are the household of faith, adopted sons and daughters into the household of faith. But look at how clear this is. The holy family. God says no, they're an evil family and they choose death. They're looking at flesh and bones and um you know anointing bones and of of dead Catholic saints that they deem saints, um, you know, and um, relics and different things. Okay, this is sorcery. This is um, the nation. This is the this is the well favored harlot. For the nations were sold by her sorceries and her witchcrafts are so many. They really are so many. And everybody's wondering, wow, this nun won't age. They're wondering after the beast. Okay, um, so this evil family which remain in all places, whether I have driven them, saith the Lord, fair a sea, we see. They don't see anything. They're the blind guides, the blind leading the blind, the blind leading the blind. Pharisee, holy see, holy family. 
Yeah. Um, no, um, no, oh, holy family, evil family. Okay, okay. In Matthew 23, 15, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, holy see. Um, Pharisee, holy see. You Babylonian, pagan, druid priest. Catholics. The mother of harlots. The mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. You know, Martin Luther was just a, um, you know, a Catholic sympathizer. He had a problem with their indulgences and some things and that they're not saved by faith plus works. We're saved by faith, not by works, by grace through faith, a gift of God. It's not of ourselves, not of works. At least any man shall boast. That's what we're saved by. But we go on to good works. But he's still, he's still Catholic. Those are the, those are the harlots, the, the harlot daughter denominations. Rome's the mother, the mother of harlots. That's the protest. And they're all gathering into one now because the deadly head wound is healed. So, Modi, scribes, and Pharisees, you come past, square and compass, Freemasons, you come past sea and land, um, you know, that's what it's about in America, the Freemasons, uh, those were not, not Christians, okay, they come past sea and land to make one proselyte, oh, my eyes are hurting a little bit, okay, to make one proselyte, and when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell, the child of hell than yourselves, for they are the spirits of devils, working miracles oh he wrought many miracles among them which go forth into the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them see make one proselyte a one world religion he's gonna they're this, using miracle signs and wonders the word of faith movement also using miracles training up soldiers of satan to do works false apostles false christ light workers um, transforming themselves into the apostles of righteousness. Um, but it's not. Their works are from the pit of hell. They are being made. You make them. That's why they have these schools. You know, the Harry Potter schools, like I was showing you in other videos, uh, where they're training you how to do healings. Um, you're going to make them twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Haven't we cast up devils and done all these wonderful things in your name? Depart from me and I renew you, ye that work iniquity. So these are devils, spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them. Gather them in one, on this, on this one, on this one proselyte, it's one proselyte, one, one world religion, to gather them, gather them together to the great day of God Almighty, to the Armageddon, right? So even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and light wonders. For there shall arise false Christ, false Christ, anointed. They're false Christ, false prophets. And show, look it, they're showing great signs and wonders. Don't wonder after the beast, okay? In so much that if it were possible, if, look at the word if, if this was possible, they shall deceive the very elect. But you can't deceive the elect. So let's see how we can show you this, I guess. Well, we can do it like, do it like this. Well, we can do it like this. Okay, so here's the here's the nun right here. Here's the nun. Now, the nun just won't age. You see the nun up here? They're like, wow, even experts are baffled. This nun will not age. And even if this is a real body being preserved, putting on the incorruptible, our outward man perishes. It's the inward man. Don't be deceived by these lying signs and wonders and miracles wrought by the spirit of devils. So look it. This nun won't age. This nun, she won't age. Look at Olay. Ageless. Ageless. See, this is sorcery. Oil of Olay. Beauty fluid. Ooh, an anointing oil. She must be anointing. Let's make her a saint, says the Vatican. Right? Let's make her a saint because her body's preserved and she's just not decaying. Ageless. And look what's on it. Look what's on it. A nun. A nun. That's a that's a Catholic that, that's a Catholic nun, isn't it? That's a well, you know, that's a Catholic nun. Right? Ageless. She just, you know, he looks like a deceiver. He's a wolf. She just looks like she won't she just doesn't age. Her body's preserved like the word of God. She's a saint now. She's ageless. Oil. Right? This is the wrong anointing oil. This is not the Holy Spirit. There's your nun, ageless nun. So the nun is not decaying. 
right? Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Okay, well, there's more scriptures we can do, but um, I have to go and um, blow my nose at a couple things. Uh, thank you for thank you for praying for me. Um, Chuck, you're praying for me. Um, my throat's not hurting no more. Still got everything else going on. Um, and everybody else, too, that commented and is praying. Thank you. Um, because, um, yeah, prayer prayer is power. We got to do it according to the scriptures. We're not seeking signs and wonders. God's more concerned about um, not the elements. And, he, yeah, he wants you to be physically healed, too. But we, got, we have to go through stuff. That way you can appreciate when things are, you know, when you are. We're, we're healed already. It's the inner man. He's concerned about the inner man. So don't be don't be like this nun. Don't be like the Catholics, you know. You know, if you preserve the outward appearance, you know, you don't want to have you want none of that. Don't, you know, we don't we don't want to be we don't want to be like this. We don't want to be like this, focused on vanity and lying signs and wonders and miracles of the devil. These are signs. Signs of signs of the times. Don't chase these things. Don't chase this stuff. Abide in the sound doctrine, endure in the doctrine. Okay. During the doctrine, God bless you in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Yeshua, right?